Okay, how do two separate earbuds adjust their sound hundreds of times per second independently and still never fall out of sync? Because that should be impossible, or it feels that way anyway. Here's how it works. Each AirPod is basically its own tiny computer with its own microphones, its own sensors, its own DSP, and its own version of what your music should sound like. So here's the really crazy part. Inside every AirPod is a digital signal processor that performs real-time audio calculations up to, get this, 200 times per second. It's constantly updating things like adaptive EQ, noise cancellation, and transparency mode. But if each earbud is adjusting all of that separately, why doesn't the audio drift? I mean, why isn't one ear slightly late? How can they be in sync all the time? This is where synchronization kicks in. AirPods send microtiming packets to each other, basically tiny bursts of data that make sure both earbuds agree on the exact moment every sound should play. I mean, we are talking millisecond level alignment here. And if one earbud gets ahead, they correct. If one is delayed, they correct again. Because this does happen. We just don't notice it because of the correction. I mean, dozens of times per second, faster than your brain can detect. So why exactly is this a big deal? Because wireless audio should be a mess when you really think about it. I mean, Bluetooth interference, head movement, multi-pass signals, the list goes on. It all should add noise and delay. But you never notice it because the DSP is constantly measuring, predicting, correcting, realigning, making your music sound seamless. Share this with someone who loves tech or music.